there's a rule in English spelling. Oh, well, I say rule. I'm probably exaggerating. More like a tendency. There's a tendency in English spelling to spell words that sound the same but mean something different differently. For instance, like a bear, bear. They sound the same but we spell them differently because they mean something different. Lots of other examples on here and here, fort and fort, higher and higher, I and I. Of course, quite importantly, two, two and two. And how about so, so and so? Now, so also reminds me of so and so and bow and bow. So, English being what it is, is nowhere near consistent, is it? Quite irritating sometimes. The opposite is also true. So, if we have words that mean the same or come from the same root, we'll spell them the same even if they're pronounced differently. So, have a look at the second O in these words. That photo obviously says O, photo. But in the next word, photograph, it's a uh, photograph, photograph. And in the last one, it's ah, uh, photographer. So, uh, because they mean the same, they're spelt the same, but pronounced quite differently. The other interesting one is the ED at the end of the past tense. So it might be pronounced D as in learned and planned, but it might be pronounced T as in looked and clapped, or even id as in added and sounded. So some extra rules for spelling in English just for you to bear in mind. You might like to talk about them with the children, but it might relieve your mind to know that sometimes there is some sense behind some words in some bits of English, but not in others, unfortunately.